Hey, hey, hey. That's a lot of value. A numbers distance from zero. here on the number line we're gonna figure out where negative 4 is and we're gonna see how far is negative 4 from 0 so hey from 0 to negative 4 it's right there and hey let's see here from 0 I'm starting at 0 and I'm going 1 2 3 4 it's four steps away what you don't want to do is count 0 as a starting point so I've seen some kids go 1 2 3 4 5 you don't want to do that it's uh, four away negative 4 is four away from 0 so four, so up here the absolute value of negative four is four. Now that confuses kids because they see a negative sign so they think it should be negative, but how far away is negative four from zero? It's gonna be four. All right, this one. Well, this would be the absolute value of five is something. So how far is 5 from 0? We're going to go down here and see 5. We're going to see its relationship to 0. How far is 5 from 0? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It is 5 away. So the absolute value of 5 is 5. This is another one that gets confusing for kids because sometimes they think, oh, so I just take the opposite of whatever comes out of the bars. No. Anytime you come out of an absolute value bar, it's going to be positive. Any number inside the absolute value bar will come out positive. So this one would read, the absolute value of negative 2 is something. So how far is negative 2 from 0? Well, here's negative 2, here's 0. It's 2 away. So absolute value of negative 2 is 2. So this part most kids don't have a problem with. The part when we deal with comparing absolute values is where it becomes more challenging. So that's what we're going to get into now. Comparing with absolute value. First, let's review on how to just compare regular numbers. So we've got a 5 compared to negative 7. I'm going to go down in here on my number line and just mark where they are. Here's 5, here's negative 7. And I was always taught, one, the positive number is always going to be larger than the negative. And when you put them on a number line, the one that's furthest to the right is going to be the greatest value. So we're going to have the 5 over here on the right. So 5 is bigger than negative 7. So we want to eat the 5, if you remember those uh, alligator tricks. We're going to eat the 5. 5 is bigger. So this would be read as 5 is greater than negative 7. If you have a hard time remembering your different greater than and less than signs, talk to your teacher about ways to remember it. Here's another one, negative three compared to two. One way you could do this is to think, oh, the positive is always gonna be the greater number. No problem, you could do that. I'm gonna put them on the number line. I'm gonna see that two's to the right. That's the one I'm gonna wanna eat. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my munchy mouth going this way. But when we read this, actually, this is really an is less than symbol. So negative 3 is less than 2. Moving on. So now we have two negative numbers. This can get confusing. A lot of kids will say, oh, negative 6 is bigger. Well, you got to be real careful. So I'm going to put my numbers on the number line. And we're going to see that negative 4 is the number on the right. So that's really the larger number. 
So it's going to eat the negative 4, and I would read this as negative 4 is greater than negative 6. If you're having trouble comparing those, you want to get some extra practice in with your teacher. All right, so now we're going to deal with some absolute value. We have this absolute value of 3, and we have this absolute value of negative 5. I'm going to go ahead and mark them both on the number line. I'm going to put my 3 and my 5, negative 5. Now what I'm going to do is measure their distances from 0. So I've got negative 5 being 5 away from 0. I'm going to write a little 5 under here. 3 is 3 away from 0. I'm going to put a 3 under that. So 3 compared to 5 is going to be less than. I want to eat the 5. So I would read this as the absolute value of 3 is less than the absolute value of 5. Now if the bars weren't there, it would be a greater than symbol. It would be the other way. But since we're talking about their distances from 0, it's a whole different story. Let's do a few more of these. So we have absolute value of negative 6, absolute value of 2. I'm going to mark my numbers. I'm going to put a negative 6 and a 2 down here. I'm going to measure negative 6's distance from 0, so it's 6. 2's distance from 0 is 2. 6 compared to 2 is going to be greater. So absolute value of negative 6 is less than the absolute value of 2. Moving on. We have absolute value of negative 3, absolute value of negative 5. We're going to go ahead and mark them both. So we've got negative 5 and negative 3. And this is going to be interesting. They're on the same side of 0. But which one's further away from 0? Which one has the larger distance from 0? So here's negative 5's distance from 0. And here's negative 3's distance from 0. It's 3 away. So 3 compared to 5 is going to be less than. So the absolute value of negative 3 is less than the absolute value of negative 5 because the distance of 3 is smaller than the distance of 5. Moving on. So we have absolute value of 9, absolute value of negative 9. Let's see. 9 and negative 9 I'm going to mark. Here's 9, here's negative 9. Let's see, negative 9 is 9 away from 0. 9 is 9 away from 0. So, hey, they're equal. The absolute value of 9 is equal to the absolute value of negative 9. All right, so one final summary activity here. We're just going to compare these pairs of numbers. So this first one up here, there's no absolute value bars, so you just go ahead and compare them the way they are. Negative 7 compared to negative 3, if you put them both on a number line, I would want to eat the negative 3, so I'm putting a less than symbol in there. Negative 7 is less than negative 3. So now we're dealing over here, we're now dealing with some absolute value bars. So negative 3 is going to come out positive. Negative 7 didn't have any bars, so it's staying the way it is. So negative 7 compared to 3 is less. Now we're going to have in this problem, we have the same numbers that we had in that very first one, but now we've got absolute value bars around both of them. So you find out how far they both are away from 0. Negative 7 is 7 away. Negative 3 is 3 away from 0. 7 is larger than 3. I want to eat the 7. So the absolute value of negative 7 is greater than the absolute value of negative 3. So now we are here. We don't have any absolute value bars, so we're taking them as they are. 8's positive, this is a negative 8, the positive is always bigger than the negative. So now we're doing the same problem, but now we've changed and we have absolute value bars around both of them. Well, 8 walks out of here, the absolute value bar positive. Negative 8, its distance from 0 is 8. Negative 8 comes out of the bars positive, that's the way I like to say it. Those two their distances from 0 are the same. The absolute value of 8 is equal to the absolute value of negative 8. Finally, we have absolute value of negative 4 and absolute value of negative 9. 
they both will end up turning positive. Negative four's distance, negative nine's distance. Four compared to nine is less, so I'm gonna put a less than symbol. That's about it, I hope this helps. Best of luck to you. Hey, hey, hey.